Hey everybody, welcome back. This is the first video on functions and functions, it's a really big topic and we're gonna go through a whole bunch of videos on what is a function, how do you make a function and uh, why are they useful and how they can improve your code. Now before we do that, I wanna remind you that all the way back in the variables and built-in functions section, we talked about functions in one video. So if you haven't watched that video, please go back, check it out again, and then come back here. Uh, if you have already seen it, if you remember how we talked about math functions and compared them to programming functions, then you're good to go, and let's get started. All right, the first thing I want to tell you, though, is, uh, or remind you, is that you've been using functions, functions like length, and length has a list that goes inside of it, and then we talked about, I don't know, range. And then range had, you know, two numbers that went inside of it. And then we had uh, power, which also had two numbers. Now it could be like five and three, maybe zero and 10 or whatever. And then lists would have something like, you know, five, three, two, something like that. And we had a bunch of other functions like integer, where you could have taken a string and it would turn it into the integer five, or you could have had string, which would have taken, I don't know, a number like 5,000, turn it into a string. So we've been using functions already. Uh, we just don't know how they actually work, but we know that when we put numbers and stuff into them, we get something back, okay? And that's basically what a function is. You put something in and you get something out, of course, in with code or in programming you sometimes don't get something out and sometimes you don't need to put something in and we'll talk about why that is and what that really means okay but first let's look at a function that most resembles a mathematical function so let's take a, this function here we're gonna say uh, f of x and we're gonna make a function that just multiplies a number by 2 so this function has a function definition. Okay, so the function definition is this line right here. So a function definition is f of x is equal to 2x. Functions also have parameters. Okay, uh, so the parameter, let's say the parameter here is x and then the return value is 2x okay so function definition is f of x equals 2x the parameter which means the value or the input that we're putting in here is x and the return value would be 2x okay so let's look at what that looks like in code so first thing is I use def because DEF is my function definition, and this is a keyword, meaning you can't use it as a variable or anything. So I say DEF, and I say function one. Okay, and this name can be anything you want. You can put my super awesome function one, uh, whatever you want. Then we use our parentheses, and inside here are parameters, so I'm gonna say parameter one. Okay, and now you might be saying, eh, parameter one, that must mean you can have more than one parameter. And yes, you can, but we're not gonna do that in this video, we'll do it in the next one. Okay, so we've got function one and parameter one. Now I need my return value, so I use return, and then it's two times x. Well, in our case, I don't have the variable x, I actually wrote the variable parameter one. So I can say parameter one times two, or I can say, two times parameter one. Whichever one you want, it's fine. All right, so I'm gonna save that. And now I want to use this. So I'm gonna say a is equal to function one. And this is what you call calling the function. So just like how we called all these functions earlier, we're now gonna call our function we made. And I'm gonna put the number 10 in here. So this is my parameter, it's going in here. So what I should expect is, if this is my parameter, this value, which is parameter one, this variable, now becomes equal to 10. 
So this is now 10 in here. When this is 10, that means it will return 2 times 10. Okay, so I can now print A. And if I run this, I get 20. Now I can change this parameter to be anything I want. And it will always return 2 times whatever I put in here. So this function is my pretty much just just this. It's a function that returns 2 times x. Okay, so pretty handy to be able to create your function that does pretty much anything you want because you can put any code in here that you want at all. And we'll be doing later videos tons of crazy stuff with functions. Alright, let's look at another function then. So another function might be a function where you take a parameter, but you don't return anything. So I don't. if you don't see the return, that means there's not number three. So that's actually saying that in programming, this is optional. Okay, so this return value is optional. And if I print this out, I can maybe print parameter one out inside of here. Uh, so I'm going to need a new name for this. This will be function two. So if I were to say print, or I can just call it actually function two, and I say 10, if I run this, all it does is parameter one still is equal to 10, but now I just print it out in here. And I'm not putting it into any value like I did here. So function one, 10. Up here, I used an assignment operator to take this value that it was returned and put it inside A, which in this case, the return value is 20 because 2 times 10 is 20. That becomes A. And I am done here. But here, I, I call the function and I don't return anything because there's no return statement, no return statement. And so it just prints it out. Uh, so actually, I could do this here, and let me print A here, like I did before, and print A here, and then we'll see the difference. Okay, so you see that when the code runs, it calls this function here and prints out 20. Then A gets called here, this function gets called, it runs through this code, and it prints out 10, and then it returns which looks like it's returning something to A, and I print out A. It returns none. And none means nothing. It means there was no return value. It's empty. And the reason they do none instead of, you know, crashing the program is because sometimes you want the function to return none, or they want to leave you, they want to leave that option open to you. As the programmer, they don't want you to crash the program just because you're not returning a variable. So if your function returns no value, the default value will become none. Okay, So let's look at another example now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment out these print statements so we don't see that anymore. So this function here has a parameter and return value. This function has a parameter and no return value. So you're probably thinking, all right, well, what about a function that has no parameter and a return value? Okay, well, that's possible too. You can have, let's make function three, no parameter, semicolon, and I can return 10. And now, if I do a is equal to function three, oh, I need function three, not function two, print a, and I run this, I will get 10. Um, oh, I do need to comment this one out too, because it's going to print that out, and I don't want that. So this will return 10 down here. So this is a function that has no parameter, nothing in the parentheses going in, and then it still returns a value. Okay, so you have you can do that, no problem. Uh, and the last one would be has no parameter and a return value and no return value. 
So that's gonna look like function four. And then maybe we do something in here, print high, but I don't return anything. So I can just call function four and it says high. So when would you use each of these type of things? Like this is probably the most common function type, meaning you're gonna have a parameter and a return value. Most things take a parameter and most things give you a return value. If you look back up here, all of these things up here will give you a return value and they take some sort of parameter. They have an input of some sort. A function that takes a parameter and no return value, well, that function's not quite as common. Uh, that function might do something like write a bunch of things to a file and that would be it. So it doesn't need a return value because it's just printing things to a file. Okay, uh, this function might also do something like just print something to the screen uh, as opposed to return a string for you to print to the screen. Uh, a function that has no parameter and a return value, that one's a little bit more rare. I, I, that you might, maybe the function will open a file and pull some information out, or maybe it uh, tries to connect to a database based on a file or something. But honestly, this here, not gonna use it too often. Uh, this one, no parameter and no return value, you're probably also not gonna use very often. Uh, this type of function might be for printing a menu out or something like that. So if you have a menu in a text-based game and you wanna print the menu out, you make a function just to print the menu out. So these two up here, you're gonna use these probably a lot more then you're gonna use these functions down here. And most of the functions we're gonna look at are gonna take a parameter and return a value. So get used to seeing this up here a lot more. Function, parameter, return. Uh, you're seeing function, no return, and just function with a return of something, not as common. Okay, so those four types of functions, they work the first one works just like a mathematical function. The other three are a little bit different. And just get used to this idea of define, function, parameter, return. Okay, so we're gonna do tons of examples in the, this, the whole functions videos section. So go ahead and keep watching. If you have questions, leave them in the YouTube comments or on the website. All right, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.